Welcome to the ultimate guide on how to play Dust 2 in under 10 minutes. Whether you're brand new to the game or whether you've played the game for a long time and just want to freshen up your skills, this is the video for you guys. Hey, what's up guys? It's Tibby here and welcome back to a brand new video. But due to popular demand, because you guys really enjoyed the how to play Mirage video, I decided to also do Dust 2. So if you guys want to see more maps in the future, just let me know in the comments down below what map you guys want to see. Also guys, if today's video hits 1,500 likes in the first seven days before the next video comes out, then we'll be doing a giveaway for an m 1 s Chantico's Fire. New high quality videos every single Friday, so make sure to subscribe with that bell icon rung so you don't miss out on all the action. And with all that being said, before we get into it, we have a quick word from our sponsor. Yo, what's up guys? Today's video was sponsored by CSGO Atsy. So if you guys are if you guys are 18 plus and you're looking for a place to bet CSGO skins, this is the place to go. So here's all the options to deposit. And then when it comes to withdrawing, you can withdraw Bitcoin, Ethereum, CSGO, or Dota 2 skins. And not gonna lie, their withdraw section is low-key kind of stacked. And then also the site has a leaderboard too. So basically the more you bet, the more you get. Also the site has sports betting. Uh, they have Mega Wheel, which is Roulette. They have Crash, Blackjacks, Minesweeper, Tabian Dice, Jackpot, and of course Wheel of Destiny. Obviously though, you you do have to be 18 plus and also on the site bet responsibly. Don't bet more than you can afford to lose. So guys go to csgoatsy.com and use code TurboMotionZ or you can go to the discord and get the link there. All right guys the timer starts now. Here's all the most useful smokes on dust 2. Stand right here in front of car, look at the second highest fern on this tree and then throw and it lands right here in this corner and blocks long. Super easy Xbox smoke. Walk over to crouch over to this thing right here, stand up, look at the antenna and throw. This works on 64 and 128 tick, and it's a great way to smoke off Xbox. This is the smoke for the cross. Just stand here in this corner, look at this thing, look up, and then run throw. For better results, throw a second one a little bit farther. For a great one-way smoke, walk up to a cat right here, stand right in the middle of this door. There's this window right here, and then look above it, and then aim for the middle of that, left-click throw. And this is a great one-way smoke for car. Smoke for door. Stand right here, crouch, look to the right of this wooden thing, and then throw. And it blocks off door like that. Stand right here, look right here at this wood, jump throw. And this is more of a mid psych smoke. So if you if you combine both of these, then you can get to site much easier. And that's it for the smokes. Most useful callouts. T-spawn, upper tons, ton stairs, lower tons, Xbox mid, top mid, outside long, double doors, and this is pit. This is side pit, this is pit platform, this is long, this is A car, this is A site, this is goose, this is ninja right here. And then right now we're up short, going down to cat, then we're gonna go down over here to CT mid, CT, short boost, elevator, ramp, B doors, B window, double stack, big box, back plat, plat, B car. That's pretty much it. Those are all the most useful callouts for Dust 2. This is how to hold B site. So basically, as long as you have mid control, you only have to worry about tons. So just take that into account. So there's a lot of different angles you can hold. Obviously, back plat is an angle that a lot of people like to hold, especially if you have an off. This can be useful. However, though, they can mull you off or throw you or they can use utility and you have pretty much nowhere to go. So it's very risky to play that angle. So you can also play big box. You can play on top of big box right here. You can kind of play this angle between big box and double stack. And then if you see them, just go for the shot, run behind cover. You can also play behind this box back here. This is what simple usually does. And then he holds, he just, he just chills, shoots them, looks down, boom, boom. He's done that before. You can also play window. And then I would recommend if you do play door right here, I would highly recommend also watching cat as well. So you can, you can kind of watch two angles from here because they switch the door's orientation. You can also play behind car right here. You can jump on top of this, like these boxes right here, play this angle, or you can literally just play right here, which is very risky, or you can play right here and just wait until you wait until they're closer and then boom, get them. All right. So playing a is a little bit more complicated because it's a much bigger site to hold on to. So having an op can be very beneficial, especially if you're holding long. So it's always in your best interest to have at least one player go long. He can actually go all the way into pit or he can play side pit as well and then in terms of like mid control you obviously want to have at least one player playing mid and he can kind of like watch and if he sees people run up then he can be like all right there's multiple coming cat however though if they do counter it by smoking off xbox then that pretty much cuts off all the information so he'll have to he'll have to call out that you know xbox is smoked so you'll have to have at least one a player push up cat or at least be prepared for a cat push. And if they push cat, you can play this angle, you can play this angle. However, you do have to watch out for long too. So maintaining long control is essential. Playing playing behind car is probably one of your safest bets as long as long is clear. You can just kind of chill right here. However, though, as I showed you earlier, 
there is a counter to this. So it's pretty much just a game of chess, essentially. And if you want to play Goose, my best piece of advice is you want to make sure that you stand behind this box too, so you can actually use this as long cover. Because if you if you peek right here, you're pretty much out in the open. <laughs> And being out in the open is not a good idea. This is a pretty good off angle that people usually never expect. Once you see them cross, just go for the shot and run back. If you know long is clear, you can also play ramp too. This is probably one of your safest angles since only the top of your head is really peeking out. And that's pretty much how to play A. All right, so for jumps and boosts on Dust 2, so unlike Mirage, there aren't as many, but there's a couple really useful ones. So if you want to get up to Xbox quickly, you can crouch jump onto this little thing, right? This metal thing right here, and you can get up a little bit quicker than going all the way around and jumping up. If you want to boost your teammate up cat, or if you want to get boosted up cat really quickly, you just jump on top of this box, crouch, and then your teammate can just jump over your head. I don't have a teammate, so I have to do it myself, but it can help you get up to cat much, much, much quicker, which can give you a big advantage, especially if they push it early on. So here's a bonus smoke. You stand right here in the middle of this pot, this column. You aim at the top left of this thing, and then you throw it. And then you can jump on top of this box right here. Check window, check door. You do have to be careful though, because they can see you. So you have to be quick on your reaction time. And that's pretty much it for the jumps. So now we're getting into how to retake. So first of all, we're going to start off how to retake a site. So if you're on the CT side and the bombs down and you have three people alive, then it's good to go from you want to have one person CT, you want to have one person cat, and then you want to have one person long. So you're basically attacking them from three different angles at once. But if you only have two alive, then it, it all really just depends on your positioning because it might be you might only have time to go CT and cat. However, though, if the cat player can get a pick off, and then your CT player can also get a pick off and there's only one person left, then you guys can just literally push the site, check long, check all the angles, smoke off the bomb. There's not really a whole lot of advice I can give you because it's it all really just comes down to the situation. It all comes down to like where you guys are when the bomb goes down because if you're like literally halfway across the map, then you might not be able to go for the retake. There might not be enough time. But if you are closer to the center or if you're, if you're on B site and you can just run down here and you can actually get to xbox then it you would you do have a chance to retake but in a lot of situations depending on what's happening you might have to save because there just simply might not be enough time and then for retaking b site one mistake that a lot of people do is i was playing with some silvers and every single person went tons and that is not a good idea like maybe you could have one person go apps but for the most part if you're retaking you want to either go window or door that's your best bet because that's the quickest way to the site and you also have the most opportunity to actually win the round too as long as you communicate as long as you work together with your team like it's all good however if you do have three people alive and one person can go for tons then that can be beneficial as well because you can basically make sure that tons is clear and you can make sure that they're pretty much going to be on site now it's time for the best plant spots so if you're going to be planning on a site and make sure to call these out to your teammates as well this is planning for cat this is planning safe this is planning mid site and then this is planning for long however if you do plant for long then you can actually you can have one player with an op hold long and pretty much just don't peek don't give them any info, and if you hear them tap it, you can check it and see if they're still on it. If not, then, you know, just overall just chill because you have a huge advantage. They pretty much have to be out in the open, and you can win this incredibly easily. On B, you can plant out in the open, like, right around here. You can pretty much just plant anywhere. If you want to plant safe, like, if they're coming door or window, you can plant right here. You can also plant under window and just pretty much anywhere else. And just make sure to call out what, where you're planning for so your team knows exactly what to do. So to take B site, your best bet isn't to only go B, you want to go mid to B as well. So you want to try to have one player go all the way up mid, and then you want to do the mid to B smoke, which is done like this. Then you have your teammates push up window. Obviously, you know, you want to make sure you check this angle, check all this. It would also be really good to have one teammate in tons do the door smoke. And then you want to also flash kind of like so. And this will pretty much flash the people on the site as you push in. That, that second flash is bad, but you want to do it kind of like the first flash. And then you just push up. You have your teammates push out through window. You have these guys push out through here. And you just work together, basically. Check all the angles, get the bomb down, win the round easy. And then how to take A site. So to take A site, even if you're pushing it, you want to do the Xbox smoke just to make them think that there are going to be people coming from cat. So they're going to be checking multiple angles. And then ultimately, you want to work your way into pit. Um, so, you know, like smoke off long like that. So you can just get into pit easily. Pretty much don't give them too much info and then when you actually want to go for the cross you definitely 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 want to smoke off the cross like i have a i have a really good molotov for car that i'll be showing you guys in just a little bit and then you cross over to the site if you only have one smoke then you have to jump over get bombed down easy peasy lemon squeezy now i just have some miscellaneous just random tips and tricks to help you guys out so this is an incredibly useful molotov if you want to molly off car so you basically jump on top of this barrel stand right here in this corner and then you want to aim just a little bit above this door handle handle and then jump throw it 
and this will pretty much land right in the corner and it'll force them out of the corner right there so they'll have to either play like back here or they'll just have to run away and then if you want to you can even throw a nade to finish them off if you're playing 128 twig you want to have at least one teammate stand right here uh aim between this and this like so right around there and you want to jump throw and this is the quickest way to smoke xbox then you basically just push up as that smoke is in position and then you do a jump throw kind of like that and then you can actually push up so everyone up cat has already flashed if you have one player lower tons and you want to build a smoke off xbox easier you can just walk here into this corner and then just aim for this string right here and then basically just throw it and this will pretty much land right on xbox if you know they're going to be coming mid to b you can actually crouch right here and get your teammate to jump on your head i don't have a teammate so i'll just and then but you, you can kind of get an angle like this so you can easily pick them off and then jump down when you have to and you can also do it vice versa on this side of the map if you know they're going to be pushing b just crouch have your teammate jump on your head and then you can literally see them from here as they come out maybe get one kill if you, if you can get a second one that's huge and then play over by door get a third one easy so you want to stand right here in the corner and then you want to aim for the top right of this window and then running jump throw and essentially what this will do is this will pretty much flash anybody on site so this can be great if you're going to be pushing it and also they might think that there's someone coming from cat because it looks like it's coming from cat but in reality it's coming from long so that's a great flash you can do anyways guys this time i kept it under 10 minutes because there was just so much stuff i wanted to include and i wanted to go as in-depth as i possibly could without going too overboard but hopefully this video was helpful and hopefully it does help you guys win more games on dust too if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future just let me know in the comments down below what map do you guys want to see next and also click that like button if we do get 1500 likes before the next video comes out we'll be doing a giveaway for an m 4 s chen t goes fire we haven't hit the goal yet but once we start hitting the goals we're gonna start doing weekly giveaways all right boys i can't do it without your support but anyways guys if you enjoyed the video like comment share subscribe click that bell icon and overall guys i upload new videos every single friday so make sure to check back every friday for new content overall guys thank you so much for watching appreciate you guys so much thank you for 84k subs it's turbo and i'm out peace